Hello, welcome to Lux Nation. It is Wednesday night and it really is our favorite night of the week. It is, we get to be with you. We love these calls. Uh, we have a few announcements. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is, if you didn't hear last week, and now you're hearing for the first time, we have a podcast. We are so excited about our podcast. Yes, this, this podcast is primarily our Wednesday call via podcast, so you have a little bit more ease if you need that for getting this information in a different medium. Yes, right? I know I like to throw a podcast on while I'm cleaning the house or doing things. Um, you know, I, I don't have time to watch something, but I like to listen. So it's a good medium for that. But in addition, we're not, we're not just this call. We'll have interviews and yes. anything else that we put together will be available through this podcast. Right now it's on Spotify. Yeah. And then it's going to be on iTunes this week. So go in, I, th I think the, kind of like with YouTube with the whole like thing. Yes. Go in and follow and give us the five star rating. If, if we're worth five stars, go ahead and put it up there. Uh, we would love your feedback and as well as the support for the podcast. So more and more people become aware of, of what Solix is yes. and we help raise everybody's frequency, right? Yes, so we are on Spotify now, iTunes this week, as well as some other platforms. So we'll let you know. Um, when those are available. Okay, next announcement is for we're, you in the Legacy Group. Yes, we're closing in on yes. June 10th. Yes. Already. Already. <laughs> we have a virtual event coming June 10th, so if you are in the Legacy Group, you are invited to that, and we will have emails going out with more information in the next month, yeah. um, and so we'll send those out. And speaking of events, we have something yes. fun in August. Yeah, in August, August 26th and 27th is our live, live only, Day of Discovery. Yes. We will have a virtual event uh, once a year and we're doing a live event once a year. So this is our live event. It is here in Utah. It's here in Utah, in Lehigh, Utah. So make plans now. The tickets are available in your back office and uh, make plans now to, to come to Utah and see us in person. And we wanna, yeah. we wanna meet you and hug you and talk to you. And, yeah. and it's high just, five. High five. It's just yeah. a really fun time. So it's a two day event. That's August 26th and 27th. Yeah, unlike the virtual event, this is at a limited seating. It's not, won't be unlimited, but, yeah. but we think our venue has some flexibility uh, to expand to, you know, a greater need, which we're anticipating. Yes. But we just, whoever can come, if you can make it and make plans for it, we love seeing you face to face. So come out. Let's we have plan some amazing it. guest speakers that are coming too. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Okay, we have made some shareables um, in, the, in the last year um, and some new ones lately, but shareables are short videos that you can share with people who are interested in AOScan. Um, and so like last week we did a uh, Lauren's story. Mm -hmm. So how Solex came to be, that is a shareable that you can uh, send out to people. Yeah. Uh, we have a new playlist on YouTube. So go to our YouTube channel, Solex LLC, and at the top it will say playlist. Click on that and you'll see the shareables playlist. And those are all the videos that you can share and send out. And we have a new one to show. Yeah, let's show it. Let's show it. This is our new pet scan shareable. Have you ever wished you could talk to your pet? Wouldn't it be nice to know exactly what your pet is feeling, both physically and emotionally? Not only do they speak a different language, but animals also have natural instincts to mask their illnesses and ailments. Without expensive veterinary visits, we must play a guessing game when it comes to the health of our furry friends. Until now. Introducing AOScan Technology for Pets. AOScan is the industry-leading biofrequency scanner that you can now use with your pets. AO PetScan was specifically designed to monitor your pet's health without having to spend hundreds of dollars or unnecessary veterinary visits. But how does it work? All cells have an ideal frequency level at which they vibrate, and our pets are no different. AO PetScan analyzes your pet's body to read which frequencies and emotions are out of balance it then offers optimizing frequencies to gently nudge the out-of-range frequencies back into a balanced state. Immediately after the first scan, you can play harmonizing tones to align your pet's emotional state. After a few scans, you will be able to compare the data from your pet's report and begin to identify trends in those reports to determine changes needed in your pet's food, environment, and general lifestyle. You will also be able to see any big problems in your pet's scans that warrant a trip to the vet. AO PetScan provides peace of mind for you, the pet owner, and optimal
customized health for your furry best friend. Try it today and give your pet the gift of a long and healthy life. I like that. I like that Sherbel. That was a good one. Yep. No, I, these, these are fun. Yeah. And hopefully you enjoy and, and maybe they're useful. I, we hope they're useful, right? We just like watching them and we certainly love the talent go, that goes into creating them. Yes. So. For sure. Okay. We also, last week, uh, we had an announcement about yeah. a, a contest, a giveaway we're doing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lauren and, and you and I were with, with a few others were at Disneyland and we have this contest that at the end of July, on the last day of July, the top three people with the most active QLAs on their front line, those that they personally sponsored, will win a trip for them and a guest to Disneyland, staying at a, Dis a Disneyland hotel with yes. a couple days in the park. And we're going to be there with you and we're going to have a great time together. Yes, and we'll include airfare in that. So this is going to be a really fun trip. Mm -hmm. um, it is wide open. This is not anyone's ball game yet. Everybody's asking, uh, what's, the what's, number? The, what's the number? Uh, we can't tell you the number. <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell you the number. But, but you know, there are, a, there are a lot of people in the running. Yes. And there's a lot of activity. And you know what, if it's if Disneyland is not your thing, there's going to be a cash out option. You'll be able to just to take take a cash yes. option for winning that prize. But if you decide to come with us, we're all going to have a great time. We together. really are. We're so. excited about that. All right, let's announce our top enrollers for the week of April 11th through the 17th. Now, we had two that tied for top enroller. Oh, so two. Two. Solex Silver Coins Solex are going Silver out. Solex Silver Coins, you'll be in the Legacy Group. And the first one is BMR International. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations, BMR International. And then Amna Jones. Congratulations, you both got quite a few. Yes. Quite a few they, recruits. They got two each this week. Two That's in one great. week. That's great. That's awesome. So both of you will get a Solex Silver Coin, and we will send that out to you tomorrow. All right. That's enough of the announcements. Should we get on with the call? Let's do it. All right. All right, today we're going to talk about a healthy gut. And a healthy gut starts with a healthy microbiome. And you might ask, what is a microbiome? A microbiome is all of the bacteria that are in your entire body. We typically focus that down to the gut when we're talking about the microbiome. And we also treat it like an organ. And the reason we treat it like an organ is it is critical to your survival. These are bacteria that have developed in your system. Your body has developed around the presence of these bacteria. There are good bacteria. There are neutral bacteria that don't do much of anything. And there are bad bacteria, which sometimes make you sick. Your microbiome needs to be diverse. It needs to have lots and lots of different bacteria, viruses, um, helminths, all, all, every different kind of bug uh, is likely in your gut. Even the bad ones that you think may cause meningitis or cause you know terrible stomach stuff are in your microbiome and they're typically not making you sick unless they get to a certain level, and then they may make you sick. Even cholera and those type bugs may be in your gut now. Some things that we call pathogens, which are bugs that make you sick, are in your microbiome. The critical thing to know about the microbiome is it creates a lot of the chemicals that your body uses. So B12, comes from the bacteria in your gut. And when you feed the bacteria the right food, they do something good for you. They create B12, or they create serotonin. They create a lot of different things in your gut that make you healthy. Lots of the vitamins are created in your gut. Um, so that being said is, if you take away the microbiome, what happens? 
what would happen to you if I cut your liver out, which is used for detoxifying basically everything that comes into your body, whether it's a pesticide on your skin or certain types of foods or drugs, what would happen if I cut your liver out? How long would you live? Well, not very long, not without an alternative medicine of de uh, method of detoxifying yourself. What about your kidney? If I cut your kidneys out, how long would you live? How about your heart, your lungs, your brain? All those are vital organs to your body functioning. Well, I'm telling you today that your microbiome and it functioning well is critical to your survival. And how the appropriateness of how well your microbiome functions, how many different bacteria, how healthy those bacteria are, tells us how healthy that your body will be. If you were born by C-section and you did not get populated with your mom's bacteria, and you can imagine how that might happen at birth, well, that bacteria is good bacteria. And that bacteria helps you develop a good immune system. Also, if you're breastfed, you get good bacteria in your gut from your mom. We like to think of our bodies as sterile. They're not sterile. They can't be sterile or we wouldn't survive. Just to give you an idea how important the microbiome is, there have been studies done that looked at mice. And they were fed the same things, but one mouse was born and was created to have a sterile gut, no bacteria. Another mouse was a fat mouse, but they ate the same things. One remained skinny, one remained fat. When they transferred the microbiome, basically a poop transfer from the fat mouse to the skinny mouse, the skinny mouse became fat, despite the fact that they did not change what they were eating. And it's all a result of what is your microbiome, which is almost like a fingerprint to you, what is it doing for your body? The way your microbiome develops starts before you're born. And as you develop, we're using way too much hand sanitizer. We're trying to sterilize everything that we touch. That's a really bad thing. Now people are coming out, doctors and experts are coming out saying, let your kid play in the dirt. They're getting, they're getting great microbiota from that. Um, and that's critical to have a good, broad microbiome. So as you grow and you have those ear infections, which you're going to have, or strep throat, and you take antibiotics, that affects your microbiome. It doesn't kill all the bacteria in your gut, but it changes the different types of bacteria that you have in your gut, especially if you have recurrent ear infections and take recurrent antibiotics. That changes your microbiome, and it may change it to a bad microbiome that doesn't do everything that you need. And it may develop into leaky gut where you get chronic inflammation through your gut wall. Um, and then that causes inflammation all over your body and you develop insulin resistance and, and diabetes and heart disease and all these other things, Alzheimer's disease, it happens in the brain as well. That inflammation. There are times that we have to take antibiotics, but we don't want to take antibiotics if we have a cold. If it's not going to work and it's not going to make us dramatically better and keep us out of the hospital, we really don't want to take antibiotics. So, but as we grow, we're going to go through those things in life where we get exposed to different things and our microbiome is going to change. So how do we affect our micro microbiome? Well, one thing you do is your microbiome grows depending on what you feed it. So the bad bacteria like the bad stuff. Well, good stuff, bad stuff. 
the bad bacteria like processed foods love sugars. Uh, matter of fact, fructose is probably the sugar that causes a majority of the inflammation and um, diseases in our body. And we'll, we're going to get deeper into that, but not right now. So the way that we change our microbiome is we feed it right. And we feed it good things. We feed it green things and natural things and colorful uh, vegetables. Those are the things we feed it. We try to stay away from processed foods. Um, many people think that, you know, fats are a bad thing. Well, they're not really a bad thing. Good fats are good for your microbiome. Um, fats that come from animals that are fed on a grass diet, unless it was with a bunch of herbicides and pesticides, you know, on the grass, are, that's healthy for your gut. Olive oil, those type fats, nuts, those are all healthy for your microbiome. Um, a lot of the oils that we use in cooking are not very healthy for our gut. Um, we don't realize that sometimes, and you can't be held responsible if you're ignorant, but we're ignorant of a lot of things, especially as medical providers. In, in allopathic medicine, or MDs and DOs, we've been ignorant in medicine for a very long time. And we are just now learning these things, and there are lots of doctors that haven't learned it yet. And that's okay, they're getting there. If they search for the truth, they'll find it. But this is the truth, and your gut and your microbiome uh, is critical to your health and to being healthy. So I want you to come back next week because I'm going to give you some solutions about how to start repairing your microbiome. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that fructose uh, statement I made. So thanks. See you next week. So what do you think about the new update to the comprehensive? Isn't that awesome? We've had some really wonderful comments and, uh, and, and even some um, comments that would, how we can make it even better, but we're so excited about it. We took, now this, so you understand, remember I've told you in the past that we're going to be bringing in the entire $30,000 scanner into the, the mobile device. These were part of the, the big scanner. But if you, those of you who have been with us for a while in the beginning, you saw these images in, in the first mobile device that we put out. But they were very, very, like when you went to the arteries of the head, it was very difficult to see all the lines and where everything went. So we took every one of those images that had lots of information and we broke those into two or three, and in some cases, even four pages. So you could actually see where the lines went to, you know, to the areas of, of the body. And so this took a little bit longer than we had hoped, but I, we're really happy with it. And so far the comments back from you have been very positive as well. Let me help you understand a little bit about, about these. Now, if, when you go to, you do your scan, then you do your optimization. Then when you go to hit reports, you have the option of, table view, which is like what you've been used to, you know, like a, like a, an Excel file, uh, where you can click on those things and it will open up the 3D viewer. Or you have the new um, diagram view, where you can actually see uh, the image and where all the things go. And so now you have, the, you have the best of both worlds. Now eventually, when you open up the chart where you can actually see things, you can click on that, it will eventually open up the 3D viewer as well. But until that time, you still have the 3D viewer, just go back in your report, click on table view, and then go down and find the line that you want to actually look at in 3D and click on it there. This is to help you better understand your body, to understand how everything in our body is truly connected, from our little toe to our sinuses. They Everything is connected. We may have an issue in our calf, but it's related to a pinched nerve in our spine. So to be able to see these images 
And then in, in to go into the 3D viewer and actually rotate it and see how everything is so connected helps us better understand why we may be feeling a certain way when the scanner is saying something else. And that's what we want to look at is to be able to learn how to connect those dots. And we're going to go into great detail, or actually Deborah's going to go into great detail on how to connect those dots to better understand your reports in phase two, which is coming soon. But these little updates that we've been adding, now you notice this just happened on your, on your device. You got up one day and turned it on to the scan, and wow, there it was. Um, we did that on purpose so that you could actually see it, play with it, and then we get your response back, and then that helps us kind of fine tune uh, where we can make it even better. So when you're using your, your scanner, let's, let's just go back a little bit for a minute. Um, when you do a comprehensive scan, try always to do your voice, your vitals, and then when you hit comprehensive, click on combined, because that's what we want to see. You want to see what is needing the most attention now, and by doing your voice and the vitals, the comprehensive will intelligently go through and select, this is what voice is showing, here's what vitals is showing, and this is how it's relating to the other physical things in our body. So that's the new update, and uh, we're, we're really happy you like it, and there's more coming, and just keep pay, paying attention. Now, another question that has come up is, how does the water sticks and the other negative ion products uh, interact with hydrogen water? And that's a really good question, but I'm not 100% sure I know the direction that question was going. So I'm gonna try and answer it from all directions. First, let's talk a little bit about what hydrogen water is. Well, water is composed of two molecules, H, which is hydrogen, two, and then O, which is oxygen. And so hydrogen water is water that has, you know, obviously purified water that has been um, run through an electrolysis process where it causes those molecules to separate and become into a gas form. And then it, it's in that water environment, and over time, it will reconstitute back into the solid. But for a period of time, it will be in, in a gas form in the water. And as we drink that water, that, that hydrogen that's been liberated is an amazing antioxidant as it goes through our system. Now, even with hydrogen water where the hydrogen has reconstituted back into the water uh, as a solid, it's still more um, assimilatable as a hydrogen molecule going through your body. So as we drink that, it, that hydrogen is, becomes a, a powerful antioxidant through our whole system. Your water will taste smoother. I know that sounds crazy or wetter. How can water taste wetter or be wetter? But you'll feel it just you'll feel it hydrate you better. It goes down smoother. And it's because the, the clusters of molecules in the water have been separated. And so there's more surface tension, surface of the molecules that we're actually benefiting from. I hope I'm not going too into the dark weeds there. But anyway, it just, you get more of those molecules in your, in your system that you can absorb. Okay, so, how do a negative ion product help? Um, the water sticks, our negative, the Solex water sticks that have the beads in there, the Cybin tourmaline beads, those beads naturally produce negative ions and far infrared energy. And those two energies enhance the structure of the water. In other words, it even helps those molecules break up even more so that the water is truly more hydration to your body. It gives you more hydration to your body. So those negative ion products, whether it's a water stick inside or a bracelet that you've put around your water bottle or a power patch that you've put on the bottom of your, your bottle, that energy that's going in there just keeps those molecules active and in an active state to where they're more assimilatable in your body. So I'm hoping I've answered that question uh, 
the way you wanted that answer. But um, bottom line is, the more energy that we can put into that water to keep the molecules active, the more hydration benefits you're gonna get from the water you drink. Okay, now in line with those uh, negative ion products, we introduced a new product just a month or so ago, the Solex Ring. Now the ring is like your bracelet, except obviously smaller and made for your fingers. Now why is this important? Why do I wanna talk to you about this? It has nothing to do with hydrogen water. The reason I wanna to talk to you about this is just like the bracelets around our wrist or the necklaces, they're putting that energy right here local. Now around your wrist, it's wonderful because you have your two main arteries running here. So that is constantly putting negative ions and far infrared energy right around your wrist and helping your whole circulation. Well, a friend of mine, she has arthritis in one of her fingers, really bad. And she got one of our rings and she charged it. She put it on her finger and within a few days, she started to notice that the arthritis was less of an issue. And over a, a week or two, no arthritis in the finger anymore. So the negative ions, you need to see this for yourself. I mean, you hear the stories and we talk about them, but until you actually experience it for yourself, it's just another anecdotal story. But for her, and for other people that we know, countless other people we know that have used the bracelets and now the rings, they're seeing amazing benefits from that, those two energies, negative ions and far infrared energy, affect our function in our, in, our, in our body. And for her, no more pain in her finger is pretty amazing. So these are great tools that you have to enhance the quality of life that you're, you're seeking to have. So on that note, we'll see you next week. So Deb Bruce recently has talked about the benefits of minerals in the gut and gut yep. health. And in the past, we've talked about fulvic acid and the, the benefits of those minerals on the brain. In fact, right. we referenced research out of Chile that focused on the fibrils being inhibited from tangling. Which helps with dementia and early yes. stage Alzheimer's. Yeah, they, they, they put yep. that in and said that in their clinical work, that fulvic acid actually, in that inhibiting effect, is a preventer That's right. of those things. So let's give away some, we have, a, we have a fulvic acid. Let's give it away. Let's give away some Ionix Gold. How about that for this? Okay, so what we need to do this time then is, what do, you, what do we want from you? We love all of your suggestions. You give us great feedback and great sure. ideas. So let's do this. Tell us what you love about these calls on this call on YouTube. Now, if you're listening to this on a podcast, go to the YouTube channel when you can, <laughs> Leave the right? Comment, yeah. Leave the comment there. We want to know what you love about these calls so we know where to focus and then what you'd love to learn more about on these calls. Yes. What could we work out and get more information and expertise to help you in your business, in your expertise, right. in your mastery of the scanner, of the different products, gut health, brain health, overall health, whatever it might be. So that, that's yep. a good one. And uh, in a true fashion, one. Lauren, how many should we give away? Three. Three. Okay. Three. We're going to draw three next week. So leave your comments on the YouTube call. What you love about these calls? What can we feed you more on these and this uh, platform? That's right. Okay. And until then, bye. have a good week. You have you and Harvard Business School. I'm an urgent care slash blah 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 And this is for the week of I don't know. Can you see it? I don't know. It's so small. April 11th.